Welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I'll be taking a look at the 125th scale AMT 1962 Buick Electra 225 model kit. This happens to be a skill level 2 which will require you to have paint and glue to assemble the model. This is also part of their Retro Deluxe series. First what I'll do is show you guys a look around the box, open it up, show you all the details of the parts inside, and then I'll let you guys know what I think of this kit. Taking a look around the box, you can see on the front they have a nice illustrated photo of what the kit can look like if you build it as per directions. They also let you know some information about the Retro Deluxe series as well as telling you this is a two-in-one kit. You can build it stock or custom. What I like about these Retro Deluxe series from AMT is they have all kinds of pictures and information about the kit itself. So if you're buying this in a store, you'll know exactly what you're going to get before you spend your money on it. photo of the customized version in the rear. And here they basically tell you some of the features and custom parts that are included inside of the box. As well as another photo like the other side. Looking on the back, I really like this here. They give you an overall view of all the parts and tell you what color everything's molded in as well as gives you basically a general overview of what's on all the parts trees. Upon opening the box, you can see here everything is nicely bagged up in individual bags. On top you have your nicely plated chrome parts. It's a bag with your clear translucent molded plastic pieces. It's your body and your chassis pan. Here's the pad printed white wall vinyl tires. It's a bag with all the white molded parts. Your instruction manual. Open that up real quick to show you guys. Very nice illustration. Shouldn't be hard at all to get this kit together. Continued on the other side. And your optional Continental Kit. As well as some information about some other kits and signing up for the AMT Club. It's pretty cool they include the AMT Cat. And here are your included decals. I'll open those up and go over those as well as all the parts here in a second. And as always with these Retro Deluxe kits, they include a, if I can get it out of the box, this mini AMT box that you can display it with the kit or anywhere you'd like. So now what I'll do is uh, open all these bags up, show you guys details and all the parts. Here's a close up look at the pad printed vinyl tires. The detail on these are excellent. See not only do they have the white walls, but they do have some very small lettering there. Looks to be Firestone. And they also have your metal axles and some screws to attach the body to the chassis. Here's your clear molded parts tree here. As you can see it's just a one piece front and rear windshield assembly as well as your clear parts for the headlights. Here's the rear tail light pieces. Excellent molding on here. Here's a close up look at the chrome plated parts tree that's included. All of the molding and the chrome plating itself looks excellent on all these parts. They include the stock parts as well as some custom items. Bumpers, wheel covers, some engine parts, very very nice pieces here, chrome plated air cleaner, as well as the looks like to be a chrome plated, I believe that's a oil pan there, uh, the continental kit, as well as it looks to be some side pipes here. 
overall excellent pieces this front grille assembly is one of the highlights you can see they have the nice Buick emblem there these hubcaps and wheels look very cool too here are your decals included they look very nice they have two sets of pinstriping as well as a few other text decals that you can add and the AMT logos as well as some license plates overall simple yet very nice also included is this AMT cat sticker here I believe this to be a sticker from the way it looks it could be a decal but I'm pretty sure it's a peel and stick decal or peel and stick sticker I should say so that's pretty cool that they added that here are the white molded parts that come in the kit. There are three parts trees total, plus your body, chassis pan, and interior. Overall, everything looks pretty good. I'll show you guys more details that in a second. However, one thing I noticed is a lot of details are molded in. There aren't a whole lot of separate parts, which could be a downside to some builders. However, if you're less experienced or you want a kit that'll just go together really fast, this is definitely a kit for you. So let me show you guys close up on all these parts. Starting off with the Buick Electra. 225 body. Excellent detailing and engraving. Can't see any real imperfections here. Some slight flash and there is that logo here on the bottom. As well as what I mentioned before, there are screws that hold this together. If you're not a big fan of that, this might not be a good model kit for you. You can see here on the back. Moving on to the chassis pan, same thing, a lot of stuff is molded in, the rear axle, the exhaust, most of the suspension parts, there are metal axles that will go through this, so that is kind of a downside on the detail, but it will make for a quick and easy build. One thing I really didn't like to see was this interior molded here with all the seats already included, that can make it a little more difficult and typical of most of these kits there are some pretty large sink marks here on the interior here is your dashboard and a small center console here's some nice wheels as well as some other parts here for the body your hood looks like they include some seat belts as well it's always nice to see for added detail looks like your tire for the continental kit well, some other parts here. Here's your engine. Another downside of this here is the engine has a lot of molded in details and it is cut out for the metal axle to go through. So sometimes that can be a big deal breaker for people is the less parts count. However, it takes a lot of detail away sometimes. Overall, I mean, the parts are pretty detailed. Not the best that I've seen. Slight amount of flash and there are a few sink marks but overall everything looks pretty good looks like they also include a roll bar here so there's a quick look at the white molded parts that come included in the kit after taking a good look at the 1962 Buick Electra 225 model kit from AMT I can say I do recommend this kit however I was a little let down with the lack of detail on the parts count. The detail on the parts themselves are really good and being this is one of their retro deluxe series kits it has a uh, new tooling and it's a reissued kit so all the parts should go together perfectly fine. Lots of chrome plated parts. I like that they give you the stock or customized option. The pad printed vinyl tires look excellent and overall it will build up to be a really good kit however you're going to spend a lot of time detailing all these individual parts if you are wanting to have everything look as per the factory. If you just want to shoot some paint over everything, this kit should go together in no time. Instructions look great, decals look great, overall like I said great kit. If you're looking for a Buick Electra, as far as I know this is about the only one that's made, so this is about your only option. However, like I said, great kit overall. They have a lot of extra customizing parts, just the downside only being that a lot of stuff's molded together. They have the metal axles, the exhaust, suspension, all that is molded into the chassis. So you are going to spend some time detailing. So if you're a good painter, you shouldn't have a problem with this. If you're a beginner, still shouldn't have a problem with it. Everything will go together well. So like I said, great kit. 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.